Wine is one of the only beverages that can enhance the taste of your food. But how do you know which wine to pair with your food? I'm here with Michael Freivogel, a server at River Horse Restaurant in Park City, Utah, and he's going to give us a few tips on how to pair your wine with food. How are you doing, Michael? I'm doing well, Erin. How are you? Doing well. This looks fantastic. Nice to have dinner with you. I know. Nice yeah. to have dinner with you, too. It doesn't happen all that often. I know. Let's make it educational and fun. I huh? like that idea. So tell me a little bit about what type of food we have here and why you chose the wines you chose. Well, I chose the starting courses of scallops because I love scallops. We've got some really nice ones in right now in the kitchen. Um, they've prepared them with a vanilla Blanc, which is a nice sweet addition to a typical Blanc sauce, which is a lemon white wine reduction. They have a Prosecco here on the table that'll accent the sweetness of the vanilla on the scallops and also complement the delicate dish itself. There's also a halibut here, which is our most popular dish, always has been. Looks amazing. So, yeah, it's really good. A macadamia nut topping with a lemon beurre blanc, as well as a mango chutney. Uh, this white wine I chose is the Marisolet Gold, and there are hints of mango in there. There's also a real nice buttery texture to the wine, yet it's not overpowering. It's still a light white wine, and so it complements this dish well also. And that's kind of one of the things you want to do is you have a a uh, really light, playful dish. You want a light, playful wine, which is the first course. We have kind of a medium-bodied dish with uh, a really nice, you know, full-bodied fish, which is still a medium-bodied dish, and it's with a really nice medium-bodied wine. This is a, a really great Chardonnay. You can see there's a nice golden color to it, and it goes wonderfully with the mango and the butter sauce over the halibut that we serve here. See, so it only matches, it matches. Colors, like, yeah, colors can... are a good thing to go by sometimes. For example, red meat and red wine are pair up always very nicely. So we've picked the Parallel Cabernet. It's a nice full-bodied Napa Valley Cab. It is nice and dry with some good fruit in it. it finishes over the, the tongue nice and has a long finish. You can taste it for a while after you drink it, which I like. And uh, it complements these dishes nicely as well because you have a full flavored meat dish here. It's nice to have a full-bodied red wine and that's what we've done. The fruit is complemented in the huckleberry over here on the buffalo. Our venison has a nice herbed butter over it, and you can taste that there's some real heavy herbaceous flavors in our red wine that complement it. And you know, when you look at a dish, when you when you see the red meat and you see a full-bodied red wine, you know it's going to be good already as you're peeking at it. And, you know, when they look like the dish, it's probably going to pair well. Uh, and you can even note it in the scallops. It's a light, almost translucent when they're not cooked, but um, I'm getting a little bit pretty in depth with the dishes. <laughs> but right. it's nice this and it's great. exciting when you, when you enjoy food and you get the right combination, it really enhances a dinner. Uh, so the basic tips are really if you have a lighter food, you'd want a lighter bodied wine. Delicate wine, delicate dish, full bodied wine with robust flavors on your plate. I think that's best way to put it, and it makes it pretty easy. It's easy to remember. Yeah, I think so. There's not too much. Everybody's right, you know. It's true. And don't be afraid to ask your server. Uh, we're all ready to ask, you know, take your questions and help you figure out the best pairing. There's always a good wine to go with just about any dish that's on the menu. So let's say I am here with a bunch of my girlfriends, and we all want to share a bottle of wine, but we're all, we all have different dishes. So what would you recommend to us? Well, uh, it's fun to start with champagne. Yes. It always gets everybody in the right mood. It makes all the decisions from here on out easier <laughs> after a few glasses of champagne. Whether it's a good or bad decision, that's not my business. <laughs> but um, once you get going, if no one will really decide on something, I look for a crowd pleaser. Uh, a nice California Pinot Noir is always a good way to go. It's uh, full body normally if it gets a lot of sun. If you see something from Sonoma or Napa that's a Pinot, typically the grape will have a lot more of a body to it than something from Willamette or, or something from, uh, you know, something, some, something Burgundian, mm -hmm. something from France. But if you get something that's in the middle of the road, it's easy to pair that with any dish. Uh, okay. Pinot Noir is nice to have with fish as well as a nice meat. So no, That's a great tip. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we move on to dessert. What would you recommend for a dessert wine? I always pair up chocolate and port because they're just wonderful together, especially with our, we have a molten chocolate cake that has a raspberry sorbet on it. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to have a port that has really deep currants, blackberries, raspberries in it. Uh, and again, they complement each other. Even the colors themselves do. And then when you get something that's like a creme brulee or vanilla ice cream, 
you look into sauternes and uh, late harvest wines that resemble in color the dessert that you're you know enjoying. So uh, color is always a good way to go. It's not the most accurate, but if you're a beginner and you don't want to ask questions, look at the wine, look at your food, and if they look the same, probably got a good pairing. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you so much for the tips, Absolutely. and I hope this helps you when you dine out. I know it's going to help me. I'm really looking forward to using these tips the next time I go out to eat. Thanks again, Michael. Oh, you're welcome. Bon appetit. <laughs> Thank you.